Welcome to week 21 of Hot 5 and 5, where we cover the 5 biggest stories in the gaming industry of the week in 5 minutes or less. This is a weekly scripted news series hosted by myself, Charles ZRS, and BAK Bossman. Now, let's jump right into the news. Valve CEO Gabe Newell said that if the new Steam program that allows users to sell the mods instead of just giving them away for free turns out to be bad for gamers, the company will ditch the idea. Our goal is to make modding better for the authors and gamers, Newell said in a Reddit AMA. Valve's new modding program launched on Thursday only with Skyrim, but it's already caused a great deal of controversy. Many players are saying that Valve is greedy for allowing modders to sell work that was previously free. As for the current revenue split on paid Skyrim mods, which gives the creator of the mod only a 25% share of sales, Newell said, The payouts are set by the owner of the game that is being modded. As I said elsewhere, if we are censoring, it's dumb, ineffective, and will stop. Console players deserve PC-style graphics settings, but Project Cars dev responds with something else. The ability to improve graphics settings largely is usually on PC, but Project Cars has proven to be an exception by tweaking up their graphics on Xbox One and PS4. These tweaks include visual effects settings like processing filters, lens flare, raindrops, screen dirt, bloom, and much more visual effects were added. Also, a separate menu was dedicated to the camera settings, changing up the view settings dictating by the driver's helmet. Console owners should have just as much as a right to tailor their game to particular preferences as PC players, Andy Tudor explains, the creative developer for the game, whether that's authenticity, visual options, how the camera reacts, accessibility, or etc. Treyarch has finally given us our first good look at Call of Duty Black Ops 3 today, and it took the opportunity to reveal the game's minimum PC system requirements. You'll need at least an Intel Core i3-530 or AMD Phenom 2 Quad Core 810, at least for a CPU, and an NVIDIA GTX 470 or an ATI Radon HD 6970 for a GPU. You also need at least 6GB of RAM. By comparison, the game is only a little more demanding than Call of Duty Advanced Warfare's minimum system requirements, which requires a slightly older GPU. Last Tuesday, April 21st, Sony rolled out a brief update, official update 2.51 for the PlayStation 4 console. This update was brief, only smallly adjusting the function of the gaming system. The patch notes included the following statements, system software stability during use of some features has been improved, and operation quality during some use of applications has been improved. This patch again looks as if it's only meant to minorly change the console as a whole. This update is sized to about 245 megabytes and was rolled out to PS4 users in North America and Europe. Guitar Hero Live, the full motion video reboot of Activision's music franchise coming from Freestyle Games, revealed 10 songs from its catalog yesterday. The image on the screen right now from Guitar Hero's Facebook page lists them. Four are easy difficulty, three are medium, and three are hard. Additionally, Guitar Hero Live promises that hundreds of songs will be available on day one between the main game and the online mode. Challenge goals for each song also are shown, with higher difficulty goals not revealed until the preceding one is unlocked. Guitar Hero Live was announced two weeks ago, and it will bring a new guitar controller and gameplay including concert video shot from the user's perspective when it launches this fall. That's Hot 5 and 5 for this week, April 19th through April 25th. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check back next week for a brand new Hot 5 and 5 episode. Improvements are always on our mind, so if you have anything that we should fix, add, change, or remove, then be sure to leave a comment below. Again, thank you for watching this Hot 5 and 5, we hope you enjoyed. This is Charles Vera signing out, and happy gaming.